Hi all, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from the pharmacology chapter antidepressants. Antidepressants. So these are the important multiple choice questions you can expect for the coming competitive exam for the pharmacist. These questions. So one thing you have to study this chapter first of all after that you can uh, see this uh, as revision We will move to the first question. The first question of this video is Which of the following is a selective MAO-B inhibitor? Which of the following is a selective MAO-B inhibitor? That is this one we studied in the anti-parkinsonism drugs in that we studied this thing, MAOB inhibitor. Options are selegenin, chlorgenin, moclobimide, tranylcipromine. Which of the following is a MAOB inhibitor? It is not MAOA, it is MAOB inhibitor. MAOB inhibitor is used in Parkinsonism. So options are selegenin, chlorgenin, moclobimide, tranylcipromine. Tranylcipromine. The correct answer is selegenin. Selegenin is the MAOB inhibitor. Selective MAOB inhibitor. Now, what are these uh, chlorgenin and moclobimide? They are MAOA inhibitor. MAOA inhibitor. Chlorgenin and moclobimide are selective MAOA inhibitor. They are useful in used as antidepressant antidepressant they are used as antidepressant now what is tranylcipromine this is not non-selective mao inhibitor there is no mao b inhibition it's not it's not uh, specific for mao b or specific for mao a it is select non-selective it is non-selective non-selective mao inhibitor MAO inhibitor tranylcipromine now we will move to the next question of this video the second question the non-selective MAO inhibitor non-selective MAO inhibitors are not used clinically as antidepressants because of their non-selective MAO inhibitor this is what tranylcipromine so they are not used clinically as antidepressants because of their low antidepressant efficacy, higher toxicity, option C, potential to interact with many food and drug, option D, both B and C are correct. Here, the correct answer is option D, both B and C are correct. That is, non selective MAO inhibitors will cause higher toxicity and also their potential to interact with many foods and drugs. So we know that MAO inhibitor, when they are reacting with uh, uh, tyramine containing foods, it will cause cheese reaction, cheese reaction. It will lead to hypertensive crisis, hypertensive crisis. So that's why non-selective non -selective MAO inhibitors will, they have more potential to interact with many food and drugs and also it causes higher toxicity. That's why they are not used as antidepressant. Question number three, which of the following MAO inhibitors is not, sorry, which of the following MAO inhibitors is most likely to produce cheese reaction, cheese reaction. That's what, here the option C, potential to interact with many foods, here, cheese reaction. So we know that non-selective MAO inhibitors will cause this interaction more compared to another one, um, uh, selective one. So options are tranylcipromine, option B, moclobimide, selegenin, chlorgenin. Selegenin MAO B inhibitor, chlorgenin and moclobimide, MAO A inhibitor, tranylcipromine is non-selective MAO inhibitor. So here the correct answer is tranylcipromine. MAO non-selective MAO inhibitors will produce cheese reaction more. Now the fourth question of this video. The following is a reversible and selective MAOA inhibitor. 
the following is a reversible and selective MAOA inhibitor. Options are bupropion, option B, entacapon, option C, moclobimide, option D, serigenin. Serigenin, we know that this is MAOB inhibitor. Now bupropion. Bupropion actually is an atypical antidepressant. Atypical antidepressant. This classification of antidepressant we will discuss in the last half once the MCQ is over. In this video itself, in the last we will see the classification of antidepressant. So bupropion is coming under atypical antidepressant. Endocapone, as you know, this is uh, is used in the anti parkinsonism it's used as anti parkinsonian drug and the capone is compt inhibitor compt inhibitor now the last option moclobimide moclobimide is the correct answer this is the selective MAOA inhibitor another example is chlorgerine chlorgerine also coming under this class MAOA inhibitor now we will move to the fifth question of this video. Imipramine given to imipramine given to non-depressed individual producers. Imipramine given to non-depressed individual. They are not depressed. They are non-depressed individual producers. Euphoria, insom insomnia, lethargy, and light head headedness. Then last option, inappropriate behavior. Imipramine when it is given to non-depressed individual producers the correct answer is lethargy and light headedness now we will move to the sixth question the antidepressant which selectively block 5 ht that means 5 hydroxytryptamine or serotonin uptake the antidepressant which selectively block 5-HD that is uh, serotonin uptake so the question was which of the following is a SSRI that is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor that is also one class of antidepressant so we will see in that last of this video the like, uh, different classes options are fluoxetine amoxapine desipramine dothiapine the correct answer for this question is Fluoxetine. Example for SSRI is fluoxetine. Another example for this SSRI that is selectively block 5 hydroxytryptamine uptake is uh, fluoxamine, fluoxetine, fluoxamine, paroxetine, then sertraline, then citalopram and acetylopram all are coming under SSRI category all these drugs have the mechanism of blocking selectively blocking of 5-hydroxytryptamine uptake next question question number seven advantage of advantages of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor that is SSRI include the following except so here four option is there out of these three options are advantages but one option is not advantage which of the following is is not an advantage of this SSRI option A no interference with ejaculation and orgasm option B minimal sedative action option C unlikely to cause fall in BP option D lack of seizure precipitating potential the correct answer for this question no interference with ejaculation and orgasm that is SSRI actually this is not an advantage it's uh, not like that but this has SSRI has minimal sedative action it's unlikely to cause fall in BP and also it lacks seizure precipitating potential SSRI actually interfere with ejaculation as well as orgasm now eighth question of this video the following antidepressant increases rather than inhibits 5 hd uptake into neuron normally we came to know that antidepressant will inhibit 5 hd uptake normally when we are talking antidepressant will inhibit 5 hd uptake while one of the following is increases 5-HT uptake which of the following that one the correct options are clomipramine fluoxetine tianeptine trazodone the correct answer for this question is tianeptine tianeptine will increases the 
फाइव एच टी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेनला फैक्सीन वेनला फैक्सीन इज ए Well, vaccine is uh, coming under anti, I mean, a typical antidepressant, a typical antidepressant. This tianeptine is also a typical antidepressant. We will see in the last. So, well, vaccine differs from the standard tricyclic antidepressant, that is TCA. Well, vaccine differs from TCA in that. What is the main difference between TCA and well, vaccine? options are venlafaxin does not inhibit 5ht reuptake option b does not inhibit noradrenaline reuptake option c does not have anticholinergic or antiadrenergic property option d has lower antidepressant efficacy the correct answer for this question is venlafaxin differs from standard tris i mean tca in that it does not have anticholinergic or antiadrenergic property option c is the correct answer because of that you know in the tca side effect when we are studying in the side effect they since they are anticholinergic they have anticholinergic action they have got side effects like dry mouth constipation etc so in this venlafaxin since it is they don't don't have any cholinergic action they don't have that type of side effect now we will move to the 10th question of this video which of the following is labeled as serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor this one you have to see snri serotonin serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor snri which of the following is labeled as options are amineptin option b venlafaxin option c bupropion option d citalopram the correct answer for this question is venlafaxin venlafaxin is labeled as serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor or snri these are the important multiple choice question from this uh, chapter anyway you have to study this chapter because uh, sometimes these questions are coming from this chapter especially the classification so you have to by heart the classification of this antidepressant now we will see the classification of antidepressant this antidepressants are classified into one reversible inhibitors of MAOA that is RIMA reversible inhibitor of MAOA that is RIMA example we already talked in this uh, session that is moclobimide one is moclobimide then chlorgelin both are coming under this class moclobimide and chlorgelin the second one second one is tricyclic antidepressant that is tca tca tricyclic antidepressant they are again they are classified into two types one is noradrenaline serotonin that is 5-ht reuptake inhibitor reuptake inhibitor one class is noradrenaline 5-HT reuptake inhibitor. Another class is predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. Noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. These are the two classes of tricyclic antidepressant. Example for this one is imipramine. That is noradrenaline 5-HT receptor inhibitor is imipramine. Imipramine this classification is very important so you have to study this one very well another example is amitriptyline amitriptyline then trimipramine doxapine dothiapine clomipramine all are coming under this category another one this noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor it is nortriptyline one example is nortriptyline Nortriptyline. Another one is amoxapine. Amoxapine. Okay. The other one is desipramine. In the desipramine. 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 Then 
Reboxetin. Reboxetin. These are the different drugs coming under this category. So one thing you can note it down. This is noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. We will write down noradrenaline like this shortly. This noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor, noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor, noradrenaline we are normally sometimes we are writing like noradrenaline like this. So if from here itself we should know the name of the medicine coming under this one that is N4 nortriptyline, N4 nortriptyline, A4 amoxapine, D4 desipramine and R4 riboxetin. R4 riboxetin. Now we will move to the next class that is third class of uh, antidepressant that is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor example are fluoxetine fluoxamine uh, sertraline citalopram acetalopram etc paroxetine is also coming under this one Okay, fluoxetin, fluoxamine, paroxetin, sertraline, citalopram, acetalopram. Next one, fourth one, a typical antidepressant. A typical antidepressant. They are trazodone, miensarin, mirtazapam, venlafaxin, kianeptin, duloxetin, amineptin, popropion. Venlafaxin is also coming under a typical. So they are classified. Antidepressants are classified into four types, reversible inhibitor of MAOHE, tricyclic antidepressant, then is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, then the last one is a typical antidepressant. So hope you understood this thing, this classification is very important, so you have to by heart this one very well. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you understood all the points. Thank you.